Okay, right here you see a 1994 Komatsu PC-1000 front shovel. Now these old PC-1000s are pretty hard machines to come across anymore. And basically that's because, being that they're an older machine, and over the years Komatsu gradually updated and replaced this machine with the, the PC-1100 and finally the PC-1250, you don't see many of the old 1000s anymore. But to find one that's in a shovel front configuration like you see right here, is very rare because there weren't a lot of PC-1000s built as front shovels. So I'm basically going to take you and show you around the machine a little bit. Now starting off the shovel bull clam on the PC-1000 is 8 cubic yards. You can see here's your bull clam right here, your lip on the back, and your front jaw that basically opens and closes. Around the side here, just like all Komatsu front shovels, two cylinders to curl your bucket. You can see the linkage is also unique on the older 1000. You see your two big knuckle pieces, kind of like what you'd find on your standard mass excavator, one on each side that basically curl the bucket in and out. These two lines that you see right here run inside the bucket and they're to power your bull clam cylinders right here, which open and close the clam bucket. And you see your two cylinders right there to push your stick in and out and your two boom cylinders. And looking at the front of the shovel right here, your two travel motors on each side of the crawlers. You can see the guards over the motors right here. Basically inside this are your hoses that run underneath your frame and up into your hydraulic system inside the machine. These are basically to cover the hoses so rocks or anything don't fall and break the hoses on the machine. It protects them more. around back here. Here you can see your counterweight on the 1000. Now you'll notice that the crawler pads are really narrow. Shovel fronts this size always have really narrow crawler pads. If this PC-1000 were a mass excavator it would have much wider pads. Now the reason why you'd want narrow pads for a, a shovel front configuration like this is because being that the machine is meant to work in rocky or solid conditions, you don't really need wide pads. And the bad thing about having the crawler pads wider is if this machine's working in rocky conditions, which you can see here it was, basically if the pads are wider, if it's going to be turning and crawling around on rocks, the rocks are just going to bend the pads on the machine. So you want the crawler pads to be smaller on the machine like this. And underneath it here you can see your superstructure and where your counterweight is bolted on to the back right there. Now I'll take you up on the 1000. Now right here you can see the ropes over the cab. You'll notice that the uh, the window on the cab is kind of foggy. It's, that's basically from the coal ash uh, blowing on front of the cab. It basically sticks right to it. Now you'll notice that this cab sits up higher than on a regular excavator. This has the raised cab on the shovel front. Right down here at this seam is where normally if this machine were an excavator is where the cab would sit. This whole piece right here is to raise your cab up higher. And the reason why you want the cab raised up higher on a front shovel like this is so the operator can see over the beds of the trucks and he has a little bit better visibility when he's loading. And here's the inside of the cab on the 1000. You'll notice that it's it's a lot older than compared to the, the newer PC-1100 and PC-1250. And here's all your operator controls right in here. Your foot pedals for your tracks. Now going on this side, in this compartment right here, this is to get out your hydraulic system on the shovel, which you can see all those steel hoses in the back right there. That's basically coming from all your hydraulic power to take it out to the hoses to power your shovel front and the front. And over here, in this compartment, here's your two main hydraulic pumps on the shovel. Now we'll go up on top deck. Here's up on top of the 1000. This tank right here is your your fuel tank and this is the cap basically to get in there so the operator can fuel the machine up with diesel fuel. 
You can see right from the seam there to here, that's your tank for the machine. And here's to get out the engine. Lift this up and there's your Komatsu engine right in there. It's a SA-60-170. Produces 532 horsepower for the shovel. You can see your single air filter right here. You'll notice the service steps right here so the operator can get down there to work on the engine if he needs to repair it. You can see where it says Komatsu on the engine and the radiator fan right in the back there. And here you can see all your hoses going out to power the hydraulics in the front. Your swing gear right down there to basically swing the shovel. And up on this side, these are your vents for your radiator right here. Now on these older Komatsu shovels like the 1000 here and the, or the older smaller PC650, the engine is backwards. If you look at the newer Komatsu shovel fronts, the engine is turned the opposite way. And the radiator for the engine would be facing out that way. And on this side, there would be the hydraulic pumps, like what you'd find on a PC-3000 or 4000. And there you can see your exhaust stack right there. But there she is, a Komatsu PC-1000 shovel. And this machine weighs 108 tons.